Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have some exciting products to show you today. I have e.l.f., Tom Ford, Huda Beauty, Laura Mercier, I have a bunch of stuff and I'm so excited to show you. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm a professional makeup artist, I'm a hairstylist, I'm 50 years old, and I want to share with you all that I know. And if I don't know it, I am so happy to find out the answers for you. So if you have anything in particular that you wanna see in the future, please leave them in the comments below so I know what to research and what to buy so that I can show you what you wanna see. Before I get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, if you like this video, it would help me so much if you hit the like button. Does anybody else get as excited about these sample packets that you get from Sephora? I do, because you know what? I have a Tom Ford sample package and I've always wanted to try that foundation. It's the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation, natural soft matte, full coverage, 40 shades. Oh, do I want a full coverage today? I also have the new Halo Glow by e.l.f. that I want to put underneath. I also have the sample pack of the new Huda Beauty Concealer, which says it's blendable, buildable, brightening and corrects, water, sweat, transfer proof. So we'll see if it works for my mature skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I need to cut my bangs soon. I do have short videos on my page if you wanna go check that out. There's a highlighting video, using a cap. There's a cut your bang video. So there's lots of things on there, but I intend to do all of them in more detail and talk through it for you. I have all my serums on and I've prepped my skin with the Emberlease Le Creme Concentrate. Let me show you the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I actually uploaded a short video comparing it to the Charlotte Tilbury. One thing I will say if you're used to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, it feels thinner and I really liked that. This definitely has a thicker consistency, but it's really, really pretty. And I took a vote on TikTok and nobody could notice the difference. So it's a much better price point. It's $18 here in Canada and the Flawless Filter I think is 58 or something like that or 56. So if you're on a budget and luxury doesn't really appeal to you, the e.l.f. is really, really pretty. Look at that. Should I put it all over? I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I just freshly self-tanned. I'm going to a cottage this weekend, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. I'm bringing my two dogs and they are loud. They bark so much. I've got shades Porcelain, Fawn, Sepia, and Mocha. I feel like Fawn is gonna be the closest, but I think for today I'm gonna have to mix in Sepia. I would love to know in the comments if you guys have tried this. I'm gonna show you what Fawn looks like on its own first. I'm gonna slide it right up here. Because it's important, my cheeks are more of the same color as my chest. In here, it's not as dark. So if I only test it to this color, it's not gonna be right. The other day that happened to me, I was testing out the new Hourglass Foundation and I tested it here and it looked good, but when I got it all over my face, my entire face looked way too light and I had to work to bronze it up. I would rather go a little bit darker, especially in the summertime, than go with the lighter version, and this is why I'm gonna mix the two. Yeah, I think that's gonna be better. Oh yeah, see, a little bit goes a long way. I like that. What's important to me with a foundation is it doesn't enhance my fine lines in here, and I like to diffuse my sunspots. I don't care if they're completely covered because that's just a part of me, and I feel like if I work too hard to cover those spots, it's gonna look really makeup-y, and for a day-to-day -day thing, I'm not concerned about it. Nobody's looking at this area anyways. By the time I'm finished my makeup, they're looking at my eyes and my smile and not analyzing all the marks on my face. That's what I always tell people. Try not to obsess over the little things because the other person looking at you is never gonna notice and you're just better off to be free of self-criticism. Speaking of that, I'm in a book club. I was so excited. I got invited to a book club that's never happened to me before. The book is called The Art of Self-Care. I wish I had read it years ago, but it's still good reading it now. It talks about mother's guilt and, you know, putting everybody else first before you, which I think we all as women do often. I think my skin looks great. I've heard really good things about the new Huda concealer. I'm not afraid to go a little bit light with that. Anything too light under my eyes will actually kind of turn gray in here if I'm not careful. So I would rather have it more of my skin tone than go too light. Or if I wanted to go two shades lighter with my concealer, I would definitely use a color corrector and then I could do that. I've seen that happen a lot because the general idea is to go a shade or two lighter than your natural color, but you really have to be careful. Um, a lot of women have a fair skin tone, but under here they're dark. Well, 
two shades lighter than your face would be like three to four shades lighter than this. So you can imagine it's not gonna look good. You'd be better off with dark circles to match your skin tone. I'm pretty sure that this has a full coverage, so let me see. And I'm gonna focus it on the outer corner and in here. And then as most of the product is used, then I'm gonna blend and I'm gonna make sure to get up under my lash line. I was doing a test of Hourglass Concealer for TikTok the other day and I did a check-in afterwards and I said, oh no, it didn't crease at all. And then I did this and all the creasing was in the folds <laughs> of my eye. So I thought, okay, well, it doesn't look like it creased, but when I did this, you could definitely see the creases. Too funny. Oh, that's a lot. Let me just dab off my brush. Make sure to get in the corner. Tapping, tapping, tapping. I'm gonna work my way out here. And then pat out the rest. And I can pull whatever's left on my brush downwards just to make sure it's seamless. And sometimes I'll just take my finger, just blend it in. I was sent the Laura Mercier new blur powder and I've tried it already and I really like it. I'm gonna try it again with a brush. The other day I tried it with a sponge but I didn't have a proper puff so I think it deposited too much powder but I still really liked it. It didn't make me feel dry. So I've just got some in the lid here and just so you know it is talc free. The other Laura Mercier powders do have talc in them and this one has hyaluronic acid in it so it makes it better for dry skin and of course it's really finely milled so that's beautiful because it just sits on your skin so nicely. And I'm actually gonna take my brush this way to kind of go against the grain of those fine lines and hopefully get it in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit right in there. That's where I get that shine and that's where my pores are larger. And right on my chin too and right around my nose where I always blow it. And just maybe a little bit in here. Looking good so far. There's another new product that I have and it's by OG. It's very similar packaging to the Westman Atelier. I'm really liking it. I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna tap it on so I don't disturb the foundation that's covering my sun damage. And just put it right there. So the key is do not go lower than the top of your ear. If you do, don't worry about it. Just use your foundation to erase it. I have a discount code. Oh, what is my discount code for OG? I think it's, yeah, Julie Meikle underscore 15. So I'll put it in the description box below if it allows me. I've been trying to put links in the description box and every time I press save, it goes to the at sign. So I'm not sure. I've been on the tech support with YouTube a couple times now. I'm hoping that they're gonna be able to fix it for me. And this is called Copper, just so you know. The other product I picked up was the e.l.f. Putty Blush, and this color is in Bermuda. I have another one as well that's a brighter pink. This one's more my style. I don't think I have anything this color. The Putty Blush is a putty to powder formula. It's buildable that adds a pop of color to your complexion, now with a subtle shimmer finish. Feel like I need to go out tonight. Have any of you heard of Glow Skin Beauty? Brow color in light brown really works well for me. All of them are really good. They come in all different colors and I find it very comparable to the ABH Brow Wiz. If I can, I'll leave a link to this as well. I start every eye look with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm gonna use the True Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I've used it a few times and it's so pretty and I always get asked what it is but I haven't done a full video on it, so I'll do that here. There's a purple color in there that's so pretty. So this is what the palette looks like. This is the color that everyone asks me what I'm wearing, so I'm definitely gonna use that one today. They're great quality, they're easy to blend, and they stay. Just be careful to tap your brush off a little bit when you use it so that you don't get any fallout on your cheeks. They always say don't put shimmers in your crease, but I do. I don't think there should be any rules. And that color right there is really soft. It's not sparkly. So I'm gonna try it. I might be sorry, but I like the tone of it. I'm using my refer number 14, starting in the outer corner, and then just gliding that over little by little and dragging it into the nose area. 
You see how subtle that shimmer is? It's so soft that you don't have to worry about it. That's pretty. I moved my room around so that I could film YouTube videos because I've been doing the TikToks, but with the YouTube videos, there's a much wider angle. And I realized that I have two closets as my background. So I got this plant hoping to kind of break it up a little bit. I don't know what to do about that. How do you decorate over closets? It's not very interesting to look at, that's for sure. I'm gonna take Kind Vibes. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the color down with this brush. It's kind of like a finger, it's short and stiff. And this is the refer number two. And then I'm gonna blend it out with a softer brush. That way I have more control because it is a darker color. And if you think about putting a darker color on a fluffier brush, it has more opportunity to kind of fly all over the place. And once that gets on your cheeks, it's really hard to remove. And I like what this is looking like, so I don't wanna disturb it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat it in, in the direction I wanna go in that outer corner, deposit the color, and I can always go back for more. But you see, I have zero fallout by doing that. And if you don't wanna take your time to do it, definitely do your eyes before your foundation and you won't have to worry about it at all. It is settling in the creases, but you know guys, I have creases. I mean, I often don't worry about that because again, it's hiding in the creases. And really, I don't need to put concealer there to begin with. I'm really more concerned about the inner corner and the outer corner. So to get away with that, I, I could just not put it there. But I do like to blend it a little bit. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend the edges so you don't see a stop and a start. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna take Kate with my finger and press it on. It's one of those really soft purples. Like it's a day purple, if that makes sense. That makes me happy. I'm gonna use a Mac brush, but don't ask me what number this is because it is old. I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Kind Vibes on a little pencil brush. I seem to be using a lot of the refer ones today. They're just clean. So just ever so slightly. I'm gonna use my Tarte Tubing Mascara. The brush grabs the lashes so well. I always get mascara right in there. Do you ever notice that mascara feels a bit better after a couple of weeks? It kind of dries out and even gives you more thickness. That's what I'm finding with this one. The only problem is I'm getting some clumps happening on the bottom lashes, but it's easy to pinch off. I have Colorstay Matte Light Crayon. Drugstore packaging Ugh, is so frustrating. <laughs> oh, I got it. And the writing's so small. I need glasses. The struggle is real. Oh yeah, and the other one I bought is a L'Oreal lipstick. They were on sale when I went and I have it in, all right, this color is in Matte Me in Paris and the other color is, no, I still can't find the name. Oh, Take Flight. Holy, if you could see how small that writing is, like how, I think a five-year-old may have a hard time seeing that. I'm gonna do the Take Flight and see if we like that. Aw, oh, I didn't even have that. No. Well, that's crummy. I wasn't pressing that hard. Did I have it up too high? Well, the color's pretty. Darn it. While I let that sit, let's talk about the e.l.f. Halo Glow. That is pretty. I'm not gonna add any extra highlight. I think that looks so nice, and it doesn't look powdery at all. It just kind of looks moist, actually. I know a lot of people don't like that word. I don't understand why, but that looks really pretty. And the powder, if you can see, is still looking really good. So I don't want that shiny, remember, because that's where my larger pores are, and that has held up really nice, and it feels nice. It doesn't feel tight at all. It looks like skin and didn't accentuate any dryness either, so I'm really happy with that powder. I guess you don't need to be that close to me. Now that that's dried down, it feels really comfortable. It's just really too bad that it broke, but I must have been pressing it too hard. You never know. Let's try this one. I feel more comfortable in this color. It's more my taste. If I can, I will leave the links in the description box. Please hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that I post. And I hope you like this. If you do, please hit the like button. 
Thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye.